Hari. I have a question. Uh, how should an individual identify that he has crossed the limits of self and, and is addicted to stuff? And what measures should he take to come out of the addictions? Addictions? Yeah. Give an example of an addiction. It can be something simple like food, movies, or something complex like drugs, alcohol, sex, uh, anything. Food is not an addiction. For me, sex is not an addiction. Movies is not an addiction. If you are talking about addiction, there is only one addiction, that is alcohol. And drugs. Other things are not addictions. They are fine arts. For me, food is very important. But I don't think I am addicted to food. Food is a very fine art. It's art and science. You can't call me a food addict, no way. Alcohol addiction is there, drug addiction is there. And what about seeing a lot of televisions or social media? That is not at all addiction. People have called it wrong, but I don't call it wrong. I daily see a TV. Hours and hours. But I don't call myself addicted to TV. I learn from TV, from every channel. It's a great entertainment for me, great enjoyment for me, great enlightenment for me. My TV is my entertainment, my TV is my enjoyment, my TV is my enlightenment. When anybody speaks in the TV, I watch like that. How he is speaking? I have other question that how should family members and friends deal with people who are addicted to like alcohol and drugs? There are organizations, Alcoholics Anonymous, they treat alcoholics. There are great organizations are there. The best way to treat any alcoholic or drug addiction is meditation. You teach a meditation, you will come out of alcoholism or any other addiction. People who are, who are dealing with addictions find it very hard to meditate, right? So is there any other suggestion? Just because they think that it is very hard to meditate, it is not fact. It is only their illusion. Their false education. You re-educate them, it is not at all difficult. You say, hey, it is very easy. You are thinking that it is difficult, but it is not difficult. Whenever I open my mouth for meditation, I say, hey, it is very, very easy. It is very, very simple. So these words should be used. We do that in pyramid speech also. Remember, we say, hey, meditation is very, very easy. It is very, very simple. It is very easy. Then I can also do it. He also do it. The whole world is doing meditation because we have said it is very easy. Had we said it is very difficult, nobody would have come to me. Now millions are doing meditation because we have said that it is very easy. It is very simple. It's not very easy, but we say it's very easy. We have to use such words to re-educate people. Break the patterns. Break the patterns, yes. Thank you, sir.